The breakup of the Beatles is one of the most famous and complex stories in the history of popular music. A series of tensions, creative differences, financial disputes, and legal battles culminated in the dissolution of the band, marking the end of an era. This chapter delves into the reasons behind the breakup and the events that transpired during this tumultuous period. In the late 1960s, the relationships between the members of the Beatles became increasingly strained. As the band evolved creatively, they also grew apart personally. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr each began to pursue individual interests, sometimes causing friction within the group. One of the early signs of tension within the band was during the making of the White Album in 1968. The sessions were fraught with disagreements over creative decisions, musical direction, and the band's increasing use of studio experimentation. The tensions were exacerbated by the presence of Yoko Ono, John Lennon's partner, who attended the sessions and became a divisive figure within the group. In 1969, the band attempted to return to their roots with the Get Back project, later released as Let It Be. The idea was to record an album with minimal overdubs and studio effects, capturing the raw essence of their early sound. However, the recording sessions were marred by disagreements and tension, which were famously documented in the Let It Be film. The project ultimately failed to restore harmony within the group and instead highlighted the growing rifts between its members. Another factor that contributed to the breakup of the Beatles was the ongoing financial and managerial disputes within the band. Following the death of their manager, Brian Epstein, in 1967, the Beatles struggled to find a suitable replacement. Lennon, McCartney, and Harrison eventually turned to American businessman Alan Klein to manage their affairs. However, McCartney was not in favor of Klein's appointment and felt that his father-in-law, Lee Eastman, would be a better choice. This disagreement over management further divided the band. In addition to the managerial disputes, the Beatles faced financial challenges due to the mismanagement of their company, Apple Corps. The band had formed Apple Corps in 1968 as a way to manage their creative projects and business interests. However, the company quickly became mired in financial troubles and was plagued by mismanagement and inefficiency. As a result, the band members became increasingly involved in the company's operations, further straining their relationships. The Beatles' breakup became official on April 10, 1970, when Paul McCartney issued a press release announcing his departure from the band. This announcement coincided with the release of McCartney's debut solo album, McCartney. The other members of the band were caught off guard by the announcement, and the relationships between them deteriorated even further. The legal battle to dissolve the Beatles' partnership dragged on for several years. McCartney filed a lawsuit against his bandmates in December 1970, seeking to dissolve their partnership and gain control over his share of the band's assets. The other members of the band contested McCartney's claims, leading to a protracted legal battle that was finally resolved in 1975. The court ruled in favor of McCartney, effectively ending the Beatles' partnership and allowing each member to pursue their individual careers. The breakup of the Beatles marked the end of an era in popular music. Their unprecedented success and influence had shaped the cultural landscape of the 1960s, and their disintegration was a significant turning point. The individual members of the band went on to achieve varying degrees of success in their solo careers, but the magic of their collective genius was never quite replicated. John Lennon pursued a solo career and became an influential figure in the peace movement. His solo work, such as the album, Imagine, continued to explore themes of love, peace, and social issues. Tragically, Lennon's life was cut short when he was assassinated in 1980. Paul McCartney formed the band Wings with his wife, Linda, and enjoyed a successful solo career. He continued to write and perform music, achieving numerous hits and accolades over the years. McCartney's career has endured, and he remains an iconic figure in popular music. George Harrison also embarked on a solo career, releasing the critically acclaimed triple album, All Things Must Pass, in 1970. He continued to explore his spirituality and interest in Indian music throughout his career. Harrison organized the concert for Bangladesh in 1971, 
which was one of the first major benefit concerts in history. He passed away in 2001 after a battle with cancer. Ringo Starr achieved success as both a musician and an actor. His solo career included several hit singles, and he lent his voice to the popular children's television series, Thomas and Friends. Starr continues to tour with his all-star band, showcasing his musical talents and engaging personality. In conclusion, the breakup of the Beatles was a complex and multifaceted event, resulting from a combination of personal tensions, creative differences, financial disputes, and legal battles. The end of the band marked a significant moment in the history of popular music, as their collective influence gave way to their individual pursuits. Despite the challenges they faced during their breakup, the legacy of the Beatles remains unparalleled, and their music continues to resonate with fans around the world. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share. Have a great day. See you later.